Hello, my name is Ron Kriebo with Hollander Manufacturing. This video is about railing systems in general, and in particular how a Hollander tests these railing systems not only to meet U.S. building codes, but to meet general safety standards. This is a railing system, the one we'll see on mezzanines on balconies. The components of this particular system are a top rail, the post, the infill panel material, uh, and in this case a handrail, since handrails required only on stairs and ramps. Hi, my name is Mark Cetrillo with the Hollander Manufacturing Company. What we'd like to do now is talk a little bit about the test rig that we use to test our products here at Hollander. Uh, this actual system was actually developed in the mid-90s to test individual fittings. Over the year we've developed and made changes to the system so that we can now incorporate entire sections of rail rather than just an individual component. There are actually four arms to this where we can apply loads. Uh, as I said, it was originally developed for individual fittings so we could pull in multiple directions at the same time. The way we do that is we have this test assembly right here. A hydraulic cylinder which will apply the load to whatever we're testing. A load cell to a thousand pounds that measures the load that's being applied and then what's called a linear transducer. And as this load is applied and the shaft moves, this linear transducer measures the deflection in the system. And down here we've got the exact same assembly we had up uh, above. Hydraulic cylinder, linear transducer, and load cell. So what's going to happen is we're going to apply a load right here. The load will be transmitted and measured by the load cell and we'll pull on that one foot by one foot plate above. Hollander decided to adapt the railing specifications of the test process developed by the American Society for Testing Materials, ASTM, since they did have maximum allowable deflections under these specific loads. ASTM E985 states that the maximum deflection allowable in the top rail of a 42 inch high guard shall be 3.5 inches and that the maximum permanent deformation, that is after all of the loads are taken off, will be 0.5 inches. To our knowledge, we're the only uh, manufacturer of railing in the United States that does this testing and documents it. As we start to apply the load with a hydraulic pump, you can see the deflection start to occur in the panel. That information from the load cell that's measuring the load and the linear transducer is being sent to our data acquisition system. And when we're ready, we can start recording points, load versus deflection. So the information we have, this is the deflection in inches and then the load that's being applied in pounds. And you can see on the chart, here's the force or load that's being applied to the test sample and across the bottom is the deflection in inches. As you've seen, Hollander tests all of our railing systems in this manner. We put them on our test rig and we test them to the norms of ASTM E985 and beyond that. Uh, this is again to test not only for codes but for overall safety because if a railing fails, people can fall, hurt themselves and sometimes die. To our knowledge, we're the only railing manufacturer in the United States that does performs this testing. Uh, and I'll use the example of the Canadian Building Code where there's a specific standard that says you can't deflect more than 1.6 inches. There's no way under, under 225 pound load of the top rail. There's no way that can be calculated. It must be tested. Uh, we feel we've gone over and above the norms required uh, by U.S. Building Codes. And again, this is in the interest of safety. Um, we appreciate your time. We hope you found this video uh, of value. Thank you.